Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use C Sharp Script to slow down time. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content. Loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click on the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload to my channel on video game development. There's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. So let's get on with it. So in your game, perhaps you have something like a bullet that you want to you know, slow down. That's the example I'm going to use here, but obviously you can use it for many, many different things. There is a real cool way of slowing things down, but there's different ways that objects can move within a scene. You know, you could do it through animation or you could do it via coding. So we'll go through both and show you what you can and can't do. So firstly, I have a bullet in this scene, which is just a constant loop animation at the moment, just flying across the screen. Hopefully you can see it there, shooting across. So we're gonna create a script which will slow that down to whatever we want it to be. So let's create a new c -sharp script and we'll call this time change. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now it is real simple to do, but it's worth noting that um, zero is basically stop in Unity and one is normal speed. Anything in between would be a slowed down version. Obviously everything higher would be a sped up version. So I'm going to get rid of the annotations and the start method because we don't need them. I am going to put in a variable. So a variable is good practice here because if you want your game to be able to change how fast and slow it can be at any given time, a variable would do it. If we didn't use a variable, we'd end up at a constant speed that we couldn't change. So for now, let's have public float and we'll have this as time speed. So the way we're going to do it is we are going to modify time dot time scale and we'll make it equal to time speed with a semicolon. By default up here, let's make time speed equal to one and save. So that means that when the script starts, it's going to be normal speed. So let's head back into Unity. Let it compile. And now let's just quickly add this to another game object. And you should be able to see here, time speed is set at one. So if we press play now, everything should run at speed one, which is normal speed. And if we were to gradually bring this number down, we can see that we are going to slow down time. So that bullet is now traveling a lot slower, all because of what we've done here. So the game is now running at 0 0.1, which means it's basically 10% of full speed. And you can see just how much that has slowed down. If we were to go any further, we could see it go even slower. So 0 0.05. So 5% of full speed, you can see that has slowed right down. And obviously if we put this back to one, we end up at full speed. So another thing that's worth noting, I'm just going to, turn, in fact, I'll leave it on. I'm gonna turn this cube on. Now, if we press play, this cube is just going to rotate really, really, really fast. So what's happening here is everything is normal. Everything is running at one speed. However, if we change this variable now, it's not going to affect this cube. So let's change this down. So the cube, as you can see, is still running at its full speed, but the bullet is slower. The reason for this is because the script in here, which is just rotating it, does not reference the time at any given point. So if you want objects in your game to be affected by the time scale, you would just have to multiply whatever they're doing by the time scale. So in this case, it would be 10 multiplied by time dot time scale. And obviously time dot time scale is always going to be a number. So it's always going to multiply it correctly. You're not going to get any errors. So if I save that now and I head back into Unity, let it compile 
and let's press play. So obviously we're at full speed again, but if I start changing this, you should be able to see the rotation of that cube is drastically changing depending on the time scale. So everything that's now moving in the scene is fully dependent on the time scale. So if we were to set time scale as zero, everything would freeze. If we were to increase it just slightly, it would move. So that is a considerable change from that rotating as fast as it did to what this is now. So we have slowed down time in the game. And obviously to get it back to normal, you would just stick it back to one. So we're back at normal speed and now we slow down and we can see. Perfect. So there's many different effects you can create by slowing down time in Unity and it really is a lot of fun to play around with things. And I think the main thing to note is that if you're dealing with animation, it's always going to be affected by the time scale. Just keep that in mind so you can modify it. If you're moving objects uh, with, whether it's a rotation, you know, transform.translate, you're moving something, always make sure you multiply it by the time scale if you do intend to modify the range of time in your game. So if you're going to go slower, it's got to be multiplied by the time scale. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, guys, I hope that's helped you out a little bit. It's a cool little trick and something that's probably quite useful in a lot of different games. Um, so, yeah, if you want to know more, leave a comment below. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, um, all that stuff, you know, whatever. And hope to see you around in another tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, guys.